Hey YouTube, I want a turtle here and we are breaking into our first box of Fusion Strike. Uh, this is a break for my patron A. A, thanks so much for the support and allowing me to break this box on your behalf. Do I have eh, scissors we'll have to do? So pretty excited for this new set. Uh, I'm curious to how the set will do. It does seem, you know, it's kind of wedged right after or, um, you know, after the heels of celebration, obviously a huge success, great set, a lot of fun to open and very expensive. So definitely more, uh, very likely there's a, quite a bit of wallet fatigue going on out there. Um, so it'll be interesting how this product does. And uh, quick uh, little mail day thing. So I did get this card in from the Japan post box. Uh, I really love this promo. This is another one with like a Kramer or something, but uh, this one really is uh, the prize. And we'll leave it here for now until we find till we get a pull that from this box that is worthy of taking that slot. All right, so here we go. Um, actually, I pulled that, and then I'm just gonna <laughs> move the box. But uh, so good luck, A, and once again, thank you for letting me do this on your behalf. So far, I did open one box yesterday uh, with my girlfriend. We kind of just do it off camera. She doesn't like to be recorded. Uh, and we had a fire box. We had double secret rare and a alt art Celebi. So hoping to get a similar result here. That's a pretty cool Skarmory. And we'll just go through the commons just to get a feel for the art style in this set. Ooh, Hoopa V right off the bat. And um, yeah, so one thing I did notice, and I feel like this is the case so often than not, that it's, you know, bad centering on this initial print wave. And you can kind of see it right there. Let me grab a sleeve and uh, at least for vivid voltage that initial wave uh kind of had a lot of edge wear so i suppose centering is much better than actual card damage uh but like you know i had that that first opening it was a huge success um but uh you know most likely there's not going to be any tens from that all right let's get into pack number two as far as pulls, uh, I imagine, you know, A's looking for those Celebes as well as that Gengar. That Gengar looks really cool. All right, Lopany into a Gorbis. And I'm not sure, you know, what the good cards are for uh, from a competitive point of view. And they do have that interesting Switch card, which uh, sounds like it's like Guzma, although it's one of those where you have to play two in order to get the effect. Farewell, Bell, to a Galarian Obstagoon. All right. Ooh, so it seems like, uh, you know, as you go through the box, like the packs are always lining up. So, don't think we can draw any conclusions based on that. Jigglypuff. Ooh, we got something. Let's hope it's a uh, full art support. Porter maybe based on the border. I think uh, what is it? Alessa or something looks there's a pretty cool version of her Phantom and oh, We do have a rainbow rare and is a sh school girl Her mouth at first look like oh why are your lips all green uh, Draw two cards your opponent is exactly two four six draw. Ooh, that's, that's terrible All right, so not a very impressive one. Oh another reprint of quick ball um, let's Take a look at the centering. Yeah, centering's is not great again. We'll put this into a perfect fit. So we did get a secret rare and you don't always get one. And I know firsthand we can do two. So we will put this over here, over that sweet Japan Post promo. All right, so pretty solid start to the box. Now let's look for that alt art. Vic Ooh, that looks cool. It looks like a, you know, two like planes, uh, kind of like flying around. Oh, there's a Alessa Sparkle. So I wouldn't mind pulling uh, the full art of that. Yeah, as far as like the the, the waifu valley, I don't think so. I don't think that really applies to schoolgirl. Minim, uh, my girlfriend thought it was pretty cute. A Levani and Lucario. Not bad. Lucario is always a pretty popular Pokemon. Cross receiver. And I believe from that first box, I think we got like 10 hits all together. So, yeah, that's, yeah, so. All 
Ooh, stand true. I'm trying to, when I look at these arts, oh, this one I definitely seen before. Um, again, I'm, I'm never a fan of, you know, when you when you collect all these cards, I do feel like, you know, from a collectability standpoint, you, you're, you're buying like, you know, the art, the picture. Um, oh, I do like that Latias. I like all the colors. Um, and when they reuse the art, you know, I feel like that's just very lazy, skipping steps. Uh, so never a fan of that. Obviously, you know, it's usually tends to be like the commons, uncommons, and I suppose, you know, that's not a terrible offense, you know, as uh, that's not really something I collect anyway. A more Peko into a Gudra. All right, so PSA update for anyone that's waiting on some cards. It looks like PSA is about uh, getting through early January. A um, bunch of my stuff, the next submission I think was in, entered in March. So we do have some time, uh, but it does seem that some months they just blow through. I think like December, it went through so fast. And then January is taking a little bit more time. Uh, I'm not exactly, it's kind of unclear why, but they certainly are making progress. And, uh, ooh, Latios as well. Definitely the Latios looks much better than the Latios. This one looks a little too 3D-ish for me. All right, Snow. And actually, let's talk a little bit about, ooh, we got uh, probably a regular V here. Let's see what we get. A Breloom, interesting. Can't imagine Breloom <laughs> Super popular card. Oh, I do like this dark rye art. That looks pretty sweet. Zerud art's not bad either. All right, so that is hit number four. And we're kind of picking off both stacks, so it's kind of hard to tell, but we're still definitely not halfway through the box. Let's grab that. I like when the two piles have the identical pack art. Uh, but kind of how things are going in the market, talking specifically like, you know, how readily available are our cards? And obviously your your area Mavarian. And I recently moved, uh, you know, from like the Boston area um, to upstate New York. And it does seem like it's a little bit easier uh, to find product, even though there's you know I bet there, there are fewer targets that I might visit. Um, but it does seem like all those reprint waves are starting to hit. Uh, so I have been seeing actually Sword and Shield ETBs along with Chilling Rain, Evolving Skies, which is very welcome sights and now fusion strike is out um but yeah hopefully that's a good, a good sign as far as you know with the holidays coming up that uh you know hope that you can get uh some products for gifts or whatever you know at a at a reasonable price grimstone into merrill those are welcome sites and um if you want or at target they do have like that uh that squishy box <laughs> pretty expensive for $50 and it does come with like these little uh, like stress toy things um, so it'll be interesting to see how that product does probably like a very limited uh, print Ooh, Genesec that that pack art looks really cool um, yeah if the card looks like that wouldn't mind seeing, seeing that I'm not sure about all the ult arts if there's like one of Genesec Skarmory, Shelmet. All right, Charge Bug. This is also a art that looks very familiar. Ooh, look at this Golem. Oh, he's definitely about to self-destruct. Desperate Blast. Active Spot is knocked out by damage. Put 10, wow. That's cool. Obviously stage two, so always presents a challenge. All right, at this point, we're probably halfway through the box. Uh, I would say okay hit ratio. Uh, we did get a secret rare, keeping our fingers crossed for a second. Oh, this is Miracle. I do like this Miracle. Chili, Insulin, and Crest. Search your deck for three Fusion Strike. Interesting. Then a Gudra. But yeah, so we got Single Strike, Rapid Strike, and now Fusion Strike. Interesting. Snorlax, shout out to Ty. A Swampert into a Absol. Battle of the IP Pass. All right, it's been a little bit since we got a hit. Come on, where are those alt arts at? 
as far as like you know uh poor boxes is you know I, i've seen some it's like no alt art no secret rare so while we just barely admit like the bit above criteria for a secret rare um yeah let's get the let's get that alt art Barascuta into a Gorbis. But yeah, excited to hear what you guys are kind of looking for uh, out of the set. I do feel like the hype is not really there. Again, I feel like it's very understandable. Like on the heels of celebrations, man, like, you know, I could see people need a break. Um, <laughs> the wallets need a break for sure. And then like, you know, after just kind of like good set after good sets, um, you know, I feel like Chilling Rain was pretty good, maybe a little underappreciated, or maybe it's because, you know, the Galarian birds are not as popular as I thought they would have been. Uh, but then Evolving Skies just really knocked it out of the park. Oh, that's what's in this set. The, um, the Espeon. Espeon VMAX Alder is kind of <laughs> randomly in here. Actually, that that's kind of a, I feel like that's a good data point to, you know, that they knew like this set maybe maybe they knew that this set wasn't the strongest you know it does have some cool cards uh, but then they put the espion in this set just to probably just kind of bolster it give it a little bit of a boost some chase back some more chase cards which uh, doesn't feel like it seems kind of odd but um you know that's what we're causes us to look for i guess not the end of the world lose some cards over here all right wow we are gotten really cold probably like a quarter of the box left only four hits we need a real string of hit after hit after hit i uh, don't know what the like the lower end of hit counts are you know i've definitely seen double digits low double digits um but we are not even close what is happening all right judge Cool looking judge card. Let's see. All right, now I'm getting nervous, eh? Come on. Ooh. But yeah, print quality. Um, Edgeware is not as bad, or Edgeware would be worse, uh, but poor centering right off the bat is always a little frustrating for myself. As someone that does have like a pretty substantial queue of cards, um to send to psa and, and actually i'm going to be in the process of getting another tga submission out there just to kind of like get some cards slabbed up slugma into sindrace v max okay so let's uh quickly rank the um you know the starter v maxes this one's pretty cool uh the only my only complaint is you don't see too much like detail of Sindrace himself. I do like the idea of him standing up above you know whoever and looking down on him on top of this giant fireball thing it's really cool just maybe a little more detail maybe a little more zoomed in um, on his face uh really boom i don't know what's going on really boom really boom looks really weird and then um the intelligent looks really cool it's like a sniper all right so we did get a v max and hopefully this is the start of quite the hit train because we are behind right now Five hits. Toxtricity. Oh boy. Come on. All right. Or, or a full, you know, a string of hits or just like a massive alt art hit to be like, you know what? Terrible hit ratio, but it's okay. And there are definitely cards in the set that could accomplish that. Oh boy. All right, what do we have? Seven packs remaining. Talk to look at this guy posing. Into a Palo Sand. Oh, okay, come on. Mankey, just hanging out. All right, a Garboder. Into, ooh, look at that Yveltal. I like it. You know what, the, the dark Pokemon got some solid art. I like Dark Rye, I like this Yveltal. Very nice. Not the hit, so. 
Give us the uh, the nice full art cards. Oops, sorry, schoolgirl and Pikachu. All right. If we hit straight hits <laughs> going forward, that would about match what the first box was. Come on, grab a lock. Okay, Bolton V. Not bad. Um, that is cute. I love the look. Super cute. Uh, just looks like um, you know, a really friendly. Dog. It kind of reminds me of like a, just like a cartoon really cute dog cartoon which i guess that's what bolton is uh but looks very um yeah very good art i don't think that's an alt art maybe it is so i'll have to double check that but very nice hit either way let's look at the centering actually from the front ooh, you know what this centering still isn't perfect i feel like the bottom is slightly thicker than the top uh but much closer than some of these other cards so I'm guessing this is an alt art, but um, very nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Four packs remaining. Get straight hits. Come on. Phalanx into a regular Boltent. Okay. All right. Uh, this is, um, you know, to make it exciting video, this is potentially the ideal situation law center uh where all the hits come at the end versus in the beginning all right two genesis packs and then we got a gengar to wrap up this video ah landris all right last two packs come on a we got this Totodile into a Orcori. When was the last time we got like a good for alligator card? All right, so if that's not alt art, which if I had to guess, you know what? The background is very different compared to like to the Hoopa. I feel like that Hoopa background, just like a bunch of different colors, does feel very typical. Uh, so maybe it's an alt art. But last pack is just a Arcanine. So I feel like this hit. Uh, hit ratio feels more kind of like uh, late sun and moonish. But to recap, we got a schoolgirl, regular Bolton, a Syndra's V Max, this cute Bolton, Breloom, Lucario, and then the Hoopa V. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to do it for this opening. A, once again, thanks for supporting me and for allowing me to do this break on your behalf. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. I'm Moana Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. All right So I did double check and Bolton is not a alt art So while this box, you know, wasn't terrible definitely wasn't super strong uh, So I got three more packs for a we'll go double and eh, we'll go alternate Mew Gengar Mew So I don't think we'll call this redemption, but uh, you know, just the kind of last last chance that we do have look like likely a V into Serena V Take it. Turn that, uh, what was that, seven hits into eight? Some more, some more respectable ratio. Uh, although that alt art, yeah, no alt art. A little disappointing. Basculin into a Latios. All right, last, ooh, Galarian Preserger. That was definitely also a recycled art. All right, last pack for this video. Maybe? Ah, uh, looks like just a Starmie. There's that for alligator. Not bad. All right, so this time that is all we have today. Thanks for watching. I'm Warner Turtle. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.